aligning with the motives of core idea, the concept has been brought towards you with a very specific purpose. This purpose has to be served with a very particular topic to talk about. This topic has a lot of potential that we have missed so far as engineers, as thinkers, as people who are constantly facing this kind of issues in our day-to-day -day life. And we have been, as it says, that humans are there to ignore things. And we have been ignoring such impactful and such important issues of the nature that I am going to address today. The topic deals with climate. Yes, the topic not only is prevailing since ages, it is the first thing that came into existence even before you came into existence, even before I came into existence, even before all community around you came into existence. Climate and the effect that climate has uh, developed with interaction of humans, with interactions of of all our day-to-day -day activities now depending upon the resources that we take from, uh, take from nature, from mother nature and we utilize those resources and doesn't give them back to the nature. So now, of course, the climate has to reciprocate and it has reciprocated and demanding times have come when we should take a call that whether are we going to act on it or we are just going to sit hands on hands and ignore and come whatever it may. And the results are devastating. The results are alarming. Let me take you through one such topic uh, and a probable solution to encounter such type of issues or problem that were created by us but now are reciprocated by climate. This issue deals with the climatic change. The change that not only has led to global warming, but consequently that global warming has led to sea level rises. As we all know that rising sea level can really create a lot of trouble for not only coastal communities, for marine life, but for all the people living on earth. Let me take you through a brief, uh, brief journey of how a possible solution can address this kind of issue in a very innovative way. My idea is dealing and converting this destructive force of nature into constructive ones. We know that climate and mother nature has this very good ability to give everything to us and take away everything when and as need be. So let us talk about rising sea level today and we all know that due to the sea level rise, the land mass, the islands are depleting day by day and to encounter this, there has to be a solution thought by engineers. This is not an artificial solution, this is a solution which uses forces of nature and addresses this type of solution, uh, addresses this type of problem and solves it to, you know, create a sustainable and a long-lasting effect. The solution deals with, the answer is nature. Can we conquer it? The answer will always stand no. Only God has this capacity and the ability to conquer it and to let it flow the way he wants. Let us talk about rising sea level. The sea level will rise eventually with the course of time, with the effects that we have put into the nature, with the things that we have done to the nature and the re nature is now reciprocating with, with a really dangerous kind of looking scenario ahead. This scenario is called sea level rise and there are typically three approaches which can purposefully combat this type of issue. The first approach to combat this type of issue is we can virtually do nothing, which is perhaps a very bad idea, you know, because it is not a very good uh, thing to do. The second idea is to bring barriers. The barriers built by uh, tri-structures that we have seen at marine drives. 
if you have ever been to Marine Drive, you have seen that tripods which are kept there for a purpose. What is the purpose of keeping those structures there? Those massive concrete structures could weigh up to 80 tons. And this structure has this ability to temporarily, I repeat my words, temporarily stop sea and pivot and pivot sea building. So in this aspect, I would like to add some more thing that this type of solutions do exist, but these solutions are not permanent. They are temporary solutions. And we are putting static solutions to this problem which nature has and which is of super dynamic high force problem. And to encounter this is our, is our duty and it is also our nature's call that we should take at the correct moment. But we all know that whatever solution we are putting, nature is always going to win after all. The second solution, the second solution would be dredging. Everyone would be aware of the palms, the palms, the famous palms at Dubai. These islands, this beautiful set of islands are built by an artificial process called dredging. So what is dredging? You might have come across this idea on National Geographic, on Discovery Channel, or somewhere else you might have referred to because this is a very important topic that this decade encountered. Dredging deals with sucking up a bunch of sand from the bed of the sea and putting it back on the shores. This, what this does, this not only stops sea from marching ahead into the, uh, into the land, but it also stops sea level rise. Now, with dredging comes lot of its after effects. What are the after effects of dredging? Technically, we are sucking sand from the bottom of the ocean and we are depositing it somewhere else on the shores. What this does is, this will disturb a lot of marine life. Lot of ecosystem will be developed, uh, will be affected and lot will eventually die. So, this effect or rather this process will have a possible solutions, but dredging is always very addictive. Why I would say it is addictive? Because after all, artificially you are depositing sand on, on the shores. This sand will conversively be eroded back into the ocean with due course of time. And now, again and again, you have to repeat this process over, over a definite period of time. So this process is very addictive and it is perhaps never a permanent solution, I would say. So the third solution is a very innovative one. And this is the solution we are going to talk about today. How about an idea that we use the forces of nature that are in this case, the ocean currents. We use ocean currents to deposit sand in a particular way at the shores. And this type of uh, sand deposition can be used to rebuild the sea, uh, seashores and possibly save uh, coastal communities, marine life and the humanity from drowning. I would take, a, take you through a very beautiful and picturesque location that are the Maldives. These islands are not only picturesque, these are not only uh, have this wonderful white sand, blue turquoise uh, beaches, but the main concern is they are sinking. Yes, Maldives are sinking and if you go by the words of the climate experts, the geologists, the Oceanologists, by 2050, we would experience 50% of sinkage of Maldives. This is alarming. We can create a system of underwater structures that are designed with a purpose. Now, this purpose will be combated in a specific manner. That this design structures, this design underwater structure will not only promote uh, sand from uh, being deposited at a strategic location, but it will also encounter this problem and save us from the geoparty that it will cause in future. Over the period of time, 
this self organization of sand will grow into a new island and creation of this new island will eventually solve a problem over the period of time this sand will self organize and rebuild the island and this created island will be our savior this specific idea has to be inspired from somewhere all of you must have visited a seashore at once once in your lifetime you had been you would have been to a seashore and you would have seen this beautiful ripples that are created on uh, on the seashore on the sand and if you have observed there are small pebbles uh, which have been deposited by the ocean on uh, on the seashore if you closely observe this type of phenomenon if you i would parallelly give you one another example of river when a stone is pelted into a river what will happen the water currents will divide will converge in will, will diverge uh, around the stone and will converge afterwards due to this action of the water currents ar uh, around what happens is the soil present around the pebble the sand present around the pebble will form some kind of pattern you would have seen this type of pattern on the seashore as well this ripples would be created and these are natural processes this is a natural phenomenon this inspired us to create this idea where this forces this forces and this currents of ocean the currents of water can be used to create sand dunes talking about sand dunes we have seen the formation of sand dunes in the desert this formation is due to the currents of the wind similarly the formation of the soil patterns is due to the currents of water why not we use this beautiful phenomenon and solve this our raging problem so the early concept starts with a very beautiful idea that at maldives this particular island was selected on this island we observe that this island was sinking by 1 cm every year and this island as you can see is not very big island it is a very small piece of land and the possible solution could be creating a wedge a wedge can be created and it can be deployed at the seashore what will happen the breaking waves when it will uh, when the breaking waves of the ocean will touch that wave uh, wedge they will start depositing sand on the other side of this wedge and that is why what will happen is not sea will give a lot of sand but will take away very less amount of sand this will start reconstruction of those seashores this will start reconstruction and rebuilding of those coastlines and this problem can be encountered let us talk about this ladder mechanism at first this ladder mechanism is a very beautiful and very simply designed uh, marvel of engineering a simple concept where breaking current will smoothly flow over this wedge and will fall on the other side and will deposit lot of sand on the other side this is a simple mechanism uh, that we have created for this purpose let us now talk about testing this type of mechanism at maldives the field test was done at this particular location this is a very 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 beautiful location as you can see the pictures are all of inspiring but the problem that is hiding behind those beautiful pictures is of greater shape i would say the first picture that we are uh, the first picture that we are referring to uh, shows us the entire location the second picture shows the deployment of those type of wedges at that particular location and after that wedges have been uh, deployed the ocean currents around those wedges have started changing and consequently there have been a few patterns forming there have been a few patterns formed around those wedges this as you can see in the image fifth you can see there is a very 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 clear water on the front edge of this bladder but now when i look at the later part of this bladder there is lot of turbulence this turbulence is due to the shape of this wedge which has been created uh, the shape of this wedge which creates this turbulence on the other side of this wedge 
and this turbulence will not only erode sand from unnecessary location and but it will deposit sand at a very uh, targeted space as a very very strategically planned space and if i am to tell you what is the result of doing this the results are wonderful the results have shown immense amount of potential in solving this 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 global crisis and that is we have we have begun with the deposit of deposition of sand on the very first image the second image shows the progress that the island has now the island is now experiencing a lot of deposition of sand the later two images the fourth one and the fifth one shows us that the island has grown up by 1 meter and we can now park a boat on it and when we take a aerial view of this image after 3 months we can see an entire island is being formed under the seabed i would say this is a wonderful wonderful solution to a very simple in a very simple simply designed manner this not not only interacts with the nature but it doesn't take away anything from the nature but it gives everything to the nature this process this process is is designed in a so particular way that it will interact with the forces of nature and convert those destructive forces into the constructive ones so here i would leave you with this session with this beautiful session and i would want you to get inspired and create such type of simple solutions to the big problems where you can use this destructive forces of the nature and convert these destructive forces into the constructive ones thanks thanks a lot